Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Wednesday, the 8th of July 2015. Starting off in the five minute chart, you can see the market moving lower after the open. There was a bit of a sideways move, but trending down in the pre market session. But as soon as the official session opened at 2 30, you can see the market trading through the 17,700 level there. And then we get uh, a sell PTI at uh, 17,650 of which the market uh, then following moves lower. You can see prices coming back above this level in one bar and then the market accelerating through. So you see prices closing through here coming back and as I spoke about this yesterday banging its head against this resistance level trading to the next and again once broken down to the next and then finally to rest at the 17,500 giving 120 plus points in this trade. The market then went uh, quiet for uh, half an hour or so and then found support at the 17,500 before moving back up in what would be known as the quiet session but on this occasion uh, price is moving back and this is because at the time uh, the rumor mill was that uh, there's a possible um, agreement for Greece and that uh, there could be emergency funds that found for them if they agreed to the austerity measures. So the market then moved back to the upside uh, in the afternoon session. Now you can see there's a, a 42 point loss there had you taken this trade. And as I've said before, if you've made money in the first part of the session, leave the second part of the session alone. So you can see there the market undecided coming back, but then going on and putting in a second uh, signal for those that do trade the uh, later part of the session or wanted to trade the later part of the session and there you can see the market then uh, trading up heading towards back up to that uh, 17,800 level and giving a another 100 points on this uh, trade as the market made its way back as I say not for me first part of the session is always the best and you never know what's going to be announced later on in the sessions uh, to keep the markets uh, moving to the upside because this is what the Federal Reserve want at the moment. The last thing they need is for the US to start moving lower as far as the stock market's concerned and positions being unwound. They have enough problems with their Ponzi scheme as it is without this happening and I'll show you in a moment what I mean by Ponzi scheme in the Asian markets. So in the daily charts, uh, you can see the market driving all the way back, having come down to more or less the lows of Monday during Tuesday session. And uh, now you can see that uh, the market's reversing. And the reason for this is quite simple. I'm just going to switch over to a few news items here. We've got uh, China stocks hammered. And this is because the market's unwinding. It's deleveraging in uh, the Far East. Uh, down 8% today and what's interesting is that the Chinese government are stepping in to try and support the market it will never work the market will always find its own way because of the people losing money wanting to get out they suspended trading on 1300 uh, companies today that's the only way you can stop the values from declining but of course once they do open then they will play catch up anyway so it's pointless in my opinion but it uh, at least it stops some sort of contagion uh, going on that's why they do it this happened in 2001 in the US and again another Ponzi scheme and if you have a look on um, Zero Hedge website there's a brilliant uh, article this morning about the uh, Chinese stock market so you can see that China crashes most since uh, 2007 amid panic sentiment over half stock suspended and there you can get all of the details you can see how many people margined up on stocks and this is the same in the USA as well you would not believe the amount of people that are buying stocks on margin in the US it's higher than it was in 2007 and once you get a get past the tipping point where the market can't rally anymore then these people have to bail out of the positions because of margin calls and this just accelerates and this is what you're seeing in China there is the middle classes have bought into this rhetoric the Ponzi scheme the government printing the same in the US and it's only that the US is just holding theirs together at the moment but uh, certainly the bull market over at the moment for the US and any rally is worth selling into because of this in the background and uh, Greece, uh, Europe gives uh, Greece five days to save the euro. 
So they've got until Sunday to accept the terms that were given, and uh, if not, then they have to leave the uh, the, the the monetary side of the uh, European Union, but stay in with the political side, the same as the UK, really, I suppose. Let's have a quick look at uh, the implied volatility. 15.31 for Monday session, Tuesday session, 14.50. Pulling back a bit, of course, because... Uh, the market rallying from the lows during yesterday and uh, finally let's have a quick look at the news uh, see what we've got out after 3 p.m 3 30 crude oil inventories fomc meeting at 7 p.m is that time in the uh, economic calendar once more that we get all the rhetoric from yellen and also 7 p.m williams is going to speak as well so 7 p.m you don't want to be in the market uh, as they will be trying to uh, pump up the market again with the usual uh, rhetoric about uh, having to possibly increase interest rates in September and all that other nonsense. Interest rates are not going to go up in America. I think you'll probably find there'll be more of a, a stock market crash and a massive pullback before that actually happens. Right, that's it from me this morning. I will see you in tomorrow's uh, edition of the Market Alert. Let's hope the volatility remains it is at the moment and the market's trending the directions once they give the signals, it's been a great uh, start to the week, and uh, long may it continue. I shall see you in tomorrow's edition. Thanks for watching.